This video is brought to you by Tabletop Renaissance located in Windsor, Ontario. Best place to go for all your tabletop needs. Check them out at www.tabletoprenaissance.ca So my name is Nathan and I've been painting miniatures for uh, quite a few years. And uh, I just want to try and do a video and maybe do this regularly, try to get people into the hobby. But for my first video I really wanted to do something sort of special. Luckily, the guys at Tabletop Renaissance lent me their store copy of Age of Sigmar uh, Dominion. And I'm really excited. The orc models are awesome. I'm not a huge Age of Sigmar player, but I'm excited about this. So they lent me the copy. It's super cool. They asked me to do an unboxing video. I kind of felt like there were a lot of unboxing videos, but I figured I might as well because I'm getting it before it came out, even though I had to return it. I was told just to do an unboxing, but things happen, you know, they just, they, they happen. So obviously I didn't listen to just do an unboxing and I cut out one of these uh, hopgots and I'm going to paint it up. First thing I'm going to do is when you mix Nasdra yellow with Iandan yellow and just do all over the skin. I'm going to take a little bit of the ray foam paint and go through and clean up areas that I may not have wanted to get that yellow on. I'm not going to show this in between every step, but I do tend to do it if I've made any mistakes. I noticed that the skin was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, so I took a scale 75, it's like a pale yellow, I can't remember the color name right now, but I just dry brush that all over the skin. Don't let people tell you dry brushing is a bad thing, it's not. It's a tool that's in your toolkit, use it. Same with contrast paints, not a bad thing, use them, why not? It's just one more way to paint. I use scale 75 thrash metal on all the metal and I just put that on everything I wanted metal. So I took that same yellow I dry brushed the skin and I just highlighted the teeth with that yellow. Then I took some Scale 75 Antares Red and I just put in little red dots for the eyes. For all the rope, I just mixed Saigor Brown with Contrast Medium. I find Saigor Brown goes on a little thick, so it's probably better to just mix it down a bit.
So looking at the ropes, I kind of wanted to add a little bit something else, so I just went over it with a Griffhound Orange. Obviously this metal is very, very shiny, so we're gonna take some Basilicanum Gray Contrast Paint and we're just gonna put it on all the metal except for the little medallion near his torso. We're gonna do something else with that. And then for the fingernails, I used the Lupus Pink. Um, I just wanted something to kind of break things up and it kind of really contrasted well with the yellow. I really do like this Hopgrat model. It really reminds me of the old Rankin and Bass, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings uh, cartoons from like the 70s. I think they're really cool. So for the little medallion right up near his torso, I just went over with Fire Slayer Flesh. That gives the medallion a little bit more of a bronzy look instead of a silver look. So for the base, I'm gonna take some Vallejo Brown Earth uh, basing paste. I'm just gonna put that everywhere. Up near the front of the model though, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a divot. Once that dries, and it does take a little bit, I'm gonna cover the whole base with Militarum Green, and that's gonna make it really look swampy, but the brown is still gonna show through a little bit. Just to add a little bit something extra, I take some Highland Tufts from Arby Painter, and I just put two of those on there. So in that divot that I left, I'm actually just gonna put some Nurgle Rot, and I'm just gonna put, probably, put it in there pretty thick. And the last thing I'll do is I will just rim the base with black paint. I'll probably have to do two coats because of how light the primer was. That contrast uh, wraith bone is, is very bright. And with that, the model's completed. Honestly, if you take out drying time, this took me about 10 minutes. It's not going to win any awards, but it's painted, it's going to look good on the table, and it's a great way to get something done quickly. So, obviously, the video quality is crap, the sound quality is crap, and the lighting quality is crap. I'm just new at this, I'm figuring it all out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.